Hello everyone and welcome to a repair video. So way back when I did a casual review for Kid Icarus Uprising and I was complaining about how when I was playing it, it broke my circle pad. I was, I was, this game is very intense on the, uh, the circle pad and uh, mine was already on the fritz so it just completely did it in. And a couple of you guys said that it's actually pretty easy to replace this circle pad so that's always been in the back of my mind. Um, so on Amazon I bought this replacement circle pad. You can see it right here. It's not exactly one for one like the um, original 3DS circle pad. For one, this is like rubber and uh, this is just like a hard plastic. And it also looks just maybe like a teeny bit bigger. So I, I kind of wish that I got a rubber pad. I kind of wish I did a little more research. Uh, make sure to do yours before you order this. This thing was like seven bucks too. So I think I got ripped off. Um, you might be able to find a better deal and something a little more one for one uh, if you do your research, but I was, I guess I was lazy, so. Um, I did some research about this. I've never done this before, so we'll see how it goes, but I'm, I'm pretty confident it doesn't look too difficult to do, so we'll get started. Um, first things first, you want to obviously like make sure that your 3DS is turned off, and you want to take out anything in the back that might impede your progress, like the stylus or the uh, SD card. Get those out. And then you will need just like a really small Phillips screwdriver. I have this little repair kit that I bought. It came with uh, my uh, my joystick uh, replacement. So it gave me like this whole kit. I have just this little little uh, Phillips screwdriver. I think that's all you need. I don't think you need the tri-wing for this guy. So it's just two screws on this back plate. And then there should be little tabs right here and on the other side that you can just kind of dig your fingertip in and pull out. And it's a hinge at the bottom, so it just kind of pries open from the top. All right, there we go. This is your battery for your 3DS. Make sure to take that out. And next we have a couple screws to take out here, 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 under these two rubber pads, and then right here where the game cartridge goes. So I'll just undo those now. All right, now this guy should pop open. You have to be careful because there are two ribbon cables on the shoulder buttons. So you don't wanna tear those off. You just want to kind of pry it open and flip it open, open uh, this way. So uh, let's get these. This is where our circle pad is. It's connected by this ribbon cable here. I think we should be able to leave this intact and just flip it over. So let's undo just two screws right here on the, uh, on the corners here. And then, uh, one thing that's important to note, these are actually different screws than the other ones that you've been uh, taking out the back plate. So just make sure that you keep those aside. Um, I have mine two up here. They're just a little bit longer. So you wanna make sure that they go in the right place when we're putting this all back together. All right, since this was broken, it just popped right off, but we will have to slide this in with the new one. So set this one aside and it also has a washer you want to save that guy. So when you, you got to open this up because you have to put in the circle pad through the front. There's just these two little corner pieces. They, they aren't, aren't held on by anything. So be careful of that. You know what? I am going to take off these shoulder buttons, I think. All right. It's just two ribbon cables and they just stick on. They just pop right off. Okay. Now I won't feel as nervous opening up this guy up. So we're gonna pop this guy up and get our replacement circle pad. 
And then you'll see on our circle pad, it has this little notch here. So you want to feed one end in and then twist it. So we get the whole thing in there, just like that. Now we do need to put in this washer, but it needs to be underneath our circle pad, like um, on the back. Let me see if I can get it. And you'll see that it has this little cut right here. We want to feed this cut in and then just twist it like so. Okay, we got the washer underneath our circle pad. Now we do want to align this little stick right here in here, but it has to go a certain way. So you just want to kind of feel out for it. Make sure that it fits on there okay. So you might have to twist it around and just get a feel for it before it pops in. Okay, I think we got it. That took a while. Let's see. Now let's uh, put in the screw and then we can test it out to make sure that we have it on just right. So make sure to grab your longer screws here and get them in these two corners. And then you just want to feel around on the circle pad, make sure that it feels okay. Here, I'll, uh, let's uh, take off these two corner things. We'll flip it around. Feels all right. It's not spinning or anything like that. Cool. These are the uh, corner pieces that I was telling you about. They just fall out. You can just place them back in. No big deal. All right, so now we're just going to do everything in reverse and plug this guy back in. Uh, get our shoulder buttons plugged back on there. Make sure that you're not bending these pins. You just gotta be careful. Pop back in. That one guy gave me some uh, trouble, but we got it back on there. Now we'll flip this guy back over. Make sure it's seated in there correctly. Now I didn't mention this one taking this apart, but the screw above the game cartridge is just a tiny little black screw. So make sure that you don't misplace that guy and make sure you put him in the right spot. And put our rubber pieces back in. This should just mush back. Oh no. Looks like the fat end goes in the bottom. Okay, add our battery. Make sure that the connections are in the right spot. Don't forget this is a hinge on the bottom, so you want to line it up with the bottom, then push it up. But you wanna hear that click. Now let's get in our two screws at the top. solid. Put in our SD card. Okay, now the moment of truth to make sure I didn't break this. Oh, I missed my old 3DS. I transferred all my information over to my new 2DS XL, so I'm just getting to where I can test out the circle pad. Whoa, 3D, whoa. Okay, come on. I don't wanna, can I skip all this stuff? Hey, it's working. Yay. Okay, well, that's how you replace the circle pad. Um, like I said, I do have a new 2D XL, so I probably won't be using this guy that much, but I do have a copy of Triforce Heroes coming, and I'm going to need people to play with, so it'll be nice to have some extra 3DSs on handy. Let me know if you have any questions, but um, as for me, that should be all for today, so I'll talk to you later. Bye!